Now, Mr. Greenslade, what seems to be the trouble? <laughs> I work for the BBC, and you see... Oh, it's a... I can't cure that. I can't. <laughs> Just swallow these meals three times a day after medicine. And that's Bannister. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Yes. What is it? Crunch. Put the leeches back in their cages. Right up. Come on, you naughty leeches. Come on. You know, they're really tigers, but uh, if I told her that, she'd want more money, you know. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to make a note of that on a piece of paper. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. What? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, <laughs> Those leeches are getting too big for their boots. Well, I can't afford any more money for leech boots, I tell you. Make a note of that on a piece of paper, Henry. No, you naughty men. Lay the operating table for dinner. You can't have dinner yet. What? The what? waiting, the waiting room's crammed full. What? what? Who's in it? Harry Seacom. <laughs> oh. oh, just a moment. What's in that leather paper parcel? A penguin. What? How dare you bring wild animals into my consulting room? Min, Min, the elephant wants to go out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what we keep him for. Shut up, you big hairy monster! Shut up! No, I'm... Stop, I tell you! Shut up! I don't know what we keep him for. He never barks at bad luck ever. Now, sir, what can I do for you? You've been round the back for the old brandy again. It's a liar, liar, I tell you, all liar. I never touch brandy or energy pills, I tell you. I've come here for your old age treatment. Oh, well, you'll have to come round the back with me. What for? The old brandy, you know. <laughs> all right, now take your cloth clothes off. Oh. Well, now, Mr. Seacomb, how many uh, years older do you want to get? Two. I see. Over here is the special rapid plastic aging type process room. In you go. Oh. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> oh. All right. Start running. Hey! Seagun was chased through the night by a great Afghan chief with a chopper. To make matters work... <laughs> Despite the agony of being chased all night by a madman with a naked chopper, Seagun still didn't get any older than Moriarty. We then discovered that by... By the traveling around the world in an easterly direction, crossing the international date line, I could gain one day. Thereby, Ben Moriarty, on winning the thousand the pole! Hello, who's that? Just an idle bargain. We are hearing that you are going round the world. Permit us to offer the use of Britain's only self-drive Zeppelin service. <laughs> Captain Scholz, can you have a 
Pen, pen. Splendid. I'll meet you at dawn tomorrow at about 11 o'clock. Right. And, darling. Yes? Do be careful. You're all I've got. Don't worry, Heidelberger. We'll clear so it's suck. It must be hell in there. In the early light of the following, I saw the great cigar-shaped monster. Yes, Nelly, it's me. Brother! Nelly, I'm going to keep you supplied with fresh penguins. Right. All aboard! Raise the anchor and start the old phantom music again. Love you. Love you. Log of the Zeppelin, 3rd of September. Heading south nor east west over English Channel, which appears to be flooded. <laughs> Lord Sigurdsson is highly inflammable. Therefore, Rauchen is verboten. Nicht Rauchen. Defense of fumé. Nicht fumé. Nicht Rauchen. Rauchen. Verboten. Cigarette. Thank you. The blooming machine. These cigarettes are strong. I know, they're made of iron. Ah. Here, Captain Heidelberger, this message has just come through the electric mangle. Kaplungen, it's a... It's a tale of the Kaiser's shirts. Oh, 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 oh. Lay it on this gramophone immediately. Es hop today. Germany is no longer at peace with England. What? This means war! Yeah, but you have already paid for your journey, so we are duty-bound to take you around the world in 80 days. But from now on, a state of naughty hostilities must exist between us, all right? This is World War One on board a Zeppelin. I know, Major. These parcels of reinforcements just arrived from England. Let's have a look. I asked the grenadier guards. I wonder what they've sent me. Leave us, Elliot. They're finchly vulgar. Good heavens. What do you know about fighting Germans? What have I known? I woke up one morning in English and found a German under my bed. <laughs> Support him with a pair of muscles and knotted string and reinforced cardboard braces. I shut out my left face. Hit, 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 hit away. Strike, thud, black, blun. English left, crunch. Strike, thud, blun. Lunge, hit. Hit, 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 what was he doing all this time? I couldn't see. He locked me in a cupboard. Hello, <laughs> Dr. Girls. How did I Yeah, stand over there. But that's outside the Zeppelin. Listen. Listen. What's in the other parcel? Well, you're walking the garden. The garden of the dog. Oh, I'm my underlord. Oh. Oh, Lord, Nettie. Oh, boy. The war officer said, Mr. Hope, what? Take that scented rose from behind your ear and no. hand me that woolen microphone. Ho, <laughs> oh, ho. Oh. <laughs> Nettie Seagram calling the studio audience. Fasten your safety belt. In a few moments, we'll be crossing the international date line. <laughs> then I'll be one day older than Moriarty, thus winning the age race. <laughs> Nelly, penguins ready to attack the front half of the Zeppelin. Then it tight! Yes, my captain, be quiet. Let's see what's behind this door here. Dear 
Oh. This must be the control cabin here. Stand up. Okay, I'll show you, idiot. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, it's little steaming ready. Moriarty. What? What are you doing up the front end of the Zeppelin? He has just crossed the international dateline ahead of you, Neddy. Thereby, Philo to see, etc., etc. Perhaps listeners would like to make a note of that on a piece of paper. Uh, well, uh, that's a lot for the night, isn't it? Yeah. Well, um... The old brandy there. <laughs> About those pieces of paper, listeners, I suggest you use them for writing in complaints about these dull endings of the goon show. Good night. <laughs> Program featuring Peter Sellers, Harry Seekham, and Spike Milligan, with the ready to quote Max Geldray and the orchestra conducted by Wally Scott. Script by Spike Milligan and Larry Stevens. Announcer Wally Skeesley. The program produced by Patrick. Radio England UK2. We now present another episode in a radio series based on the world famous BBC comedy success, Step Toe and Son. With Wilfred Bramble as Albert and Harry Edgeworth as Harold. <laughs> this week, and so to bed. Would you care for another date? Do you mean with another bloke, in which case, yes? <laughs> or those dried up relics from last Christmas, in which case, no. Look, I'm sorry about him, Marissa. I thought he would be asleep by now. I thought I would be as well. Oh, look, forget about him. Think about us. Well, give us a kiss. Go on. Oh, Harold, look, we've done all that. When are we going upstairs? But I told you, we've got to give him a chance to get to sleep. I mean, now's I've got a woman down here, he'll be a nuisance all night long. They won't give us a minute's peace. He'll be up and down like a yo. He'll find some excuse to come in. Well, what's he doing anyway? He's gobbling. What? <laughs> <laughs> days there's not much else he can do. I mean, that's why he doesn't like me doing it. Well, how long does he keep this up? He's gone today. Well, he's like a little gnome. He won't go to sleep till he's finished with them. He's sitting up there with his mouth full of nails like a prime blunderbuss. <laughs> I hope he's taking his teeth out. <laughs> Otherwise, he might hammer his bottom and sit around the heel of an ash puppy. I know where I would hammer them. Oh, Harold, come on, let's go up now. No. I can't concentrate with him banging away all night. <laughs> well, it looks like he's the only one going to. <laughs> oh, look, let's forget it. I'll go home. No, no, no. Don't go, Marissa. He won't be long. Oh, this is all right. Oh, yes. This is nice and comfortable. What, on a couch? Your chin. Serve my apprenticeship. <laughs> <laughs> now, I gave up the front room bit years ago. Oh, yeah. I like a bit of comfort these days. Good night. No, hang on. What? He's asleep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Putting up with this, you can't hear yourself talking. Oh, no, really, it won't go on much longer. Let me get you another drink. No, don't bother. We've done a bottle in already. I didn't come here to booze. You know, I can't understand you. Oh, what's up? Well, you say you've been after me for months. Oh, I have, Marissa, so I have. Ever since I saw you outside the cinema, I looked up, and there you were, 
up a ladder putting up next week's film titles. <laughs> yeah, and I dropped a letter E on your head. <laughs> <laughs> you was taking down naughty knickers and lash of lust. Oh. <laughs> and you was putting up Herbie Rides again. Because <laughs> the kids was on holiday. <laughs> and you said I look like Robert Redford. Mm. Gotten it? Well, I've thought about you ever since. Well, it took you long enough to talk to me, didn't it? Well, I, I didn't like to. I, mean, I, I bought loads of chuck ices off of you. But, well, I suppose it was that. What? Oh, you don't want to take any notice of that? I'll steer us clear of married women as a rule. I don't like the idea of splitting up families. Huh. Look, there. What? On your finger. Oh, that! Oh, you don't want to take any notice of that? I'll steer us clear of married women as a rule. I don't like the idea of... Huh. Look, doesn't mind, you know... Of a men. No. Huh? We're, we're, huh? we're a very, very liberated couple. Oh. <laughs> well, in fact, I'm more. Only married me so that I couldn't testify. How long did you get? Twelve years. No, I'm not. Oh, Marissa, I'm crazy about you. Oh, no. Look, oh. leave. Oh. Come away just for a kiss and a date. Oh. That's no good for a grown woman. Here. Is this some. <laughs> You're not impudent. <laughs> Imp impotent! <laughs> no, of course. I've never had any complaints. Oh. Well, I don't suppose you have either, have you? Well, <laughs> let's put it this way. You might have to take the day off tomorrow. <laughs> no, let's make it a week, surely. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go up. No, I'd rather not go up while he's awake. Well, go up, meet him over the edge with his hammer. <laughs> don't think I wouldn't like to. I think he's finished. I'll go and see. Dad? Dad? Are you awake? Come on! About... Shh, shh, shh. We must be quiet going up for the stairs. Right. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Take your shoes off. <laughs> Look! If that wakes him up, we might as well go back down. Because once I start, I can't yeah, control right, myself. Right, right. <laughs> there, there we are. This is it. My bedroom. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> no, no, you'll find it quite conducive. You shouldn't have put it on. This bed's got lumps in it. That's all right, we'll soon flatten them out. <laughs> What's the matter? What's that? Where, where? It's a bug. Huh? I'm not getting in there. Oh, God, it's him. What's going on in there? Nothing. Clear off. It's not a bug. It is. I know a bug when I see one. It can't be a bug. They all yesterday. No, it's a It's not a Really, it isn't. Look, look, it's a ladybird. I don't care what it is. I'm not getting in there. Have you found another bug in there? It's not a and very good for the roses. Well, this one is. I'm not stopping here. Louise, no, it's a, don't go. There's no bugs in this house, I promise you. Now I know what your father was doing with his hammer. He was killing them. <laughs> Will you let go of me? No, this is silly. You can't go. Put, put me down. Harold, I'm not going on that bed. Help! Help! Let me in, let me in. Good night. Who are you? Mind your own business. Let me out of here. Where's my son? What have you done with him? Where is he? He's under that lock somewhere. <laughs> Says you're right, you dirty little devil. <laughs> Come on. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. Mother Nature is bestowing her bountiful gift. The sunbeams are dancing on the... Yes, Duft. <laughs> come on, come on, time to get up. I brought you breakfast on a tray. Sausages, bacon, bread and dripping. Lovely. Oh, go away. It's eight o'clock. Time you was on the round. <sighs> oh, 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 God, me neck. I can't move me neck. I'm not surprised, keeping on that sofa all night. Here, let me rub this in. <clears throat> oh, 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 that's better. Oh, yeah, oh, that's much better. Oh. Oh. What's that? 
Dripping. Oh, God. <laughs> Best thing giving her, that is. Well, there's another romance right up the spot. I won't see her again. She, I've never seen a bird move so quick. <laughs> she was out of here faster than a bishop in a brothel raid. <laughs> <laughs> it don't happen to other people. I mean, other blokes get it for nothing. Me, eight gin and tonics, the man doing dinner for two at the Acton Lotus House, two bottles of Nuit Saint Georges, plus VAT, apart from which, two sweet and sour pork balls rolled down me chopsticks, <laughs> down the front of me new tie, onto me clean shirt and finished up, congealed in the fly of me brand new flares. <laughs> I did wedge last night, Dad. I mean, I really tried. I was entitled to a result last night. It's this house. It's the kiss of death. I don't know why I'll bring them back here. I really don't. I was worried about her meeting you. I never thought about the bed bugs. And then the final fiasco, the bed collapses. You ain't amended? No, I'm not. I'm throwing it out. That mattress is going straight on the fire. <laughs> bugs. Oh, you, <laughs> you don't want to do that until you get another one. You won't find one out on the rounds as easy as that. I can't get any more beds off of the round. That's where that one come from. That's disgusting. Using other people's beds. You don't know who's been in them. <laughs> no, I'm going to buy a new bed from a shop. Cost you a lot of money. I don't care. I've never had a new bed. All of my life I've slept in other people's cast-offs. A man spends a third of his life in bed. Uh, or in your case, two thirds. <laughs> now, he's entitled to a decent one. I'm going to get a new bed. New linen, blankets, the lot. If I ever b b bring another bird home, it's going to be all right. I'll get something sexy. I saw a round one in a shop the other week. A round bed? Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah, how do you know where your feet are supposed to go? I don't know. They can go anywhere. You can point them in any direction what you fancy. What about the sheets? You have round sheets. Makes round sheets. The same people who make square ones. Look, it's no harder to make round ones than it is to make square ones. I bet it is. It isn't. I bet it costs more. I don't care what they cost. I shall get round, black ones. Oh, now that's a good idea. You won't have to wash them. <laughs> well, that appeal to you. Yeah, I'll have some of them square black ones. If you have black sheets, we'll never find you. <laughs> I might get a bed made specially. I don't have to have a round one. I never had a bed of my own till I was married. No, I know, Dad. There used to be eight of us in one bed. Yes, I know, Dad. Four brothers, two sisters, me mum and dad. They're all dead now. That's well. I used to say. Eight of us. Four up one end, four down the other. Roll the sheets back and we looked like a tin of sardines. <laughs> Hard days they were. Do you know what we used to have for breakfast? Bread and margarine. That's right. Bread and margarine. That's all. Everybody around here was little in them days. If you got to five foot four, that was your lot. If you saw anybody taller, they was rich. <laughs> You're taller than that. Not then I wasn't. I didn't get this tall until I was forty. Oh. <laughs> People nowadays don't know what it's all about. Kids of today. They spend more money on Chris than my mum had to keep us for a fortnight. It's about time they brought conscription back. Knock a bit of discipline into them. I don't follow this at all. I mean, what's got, got to do with buying Chris? Everything. Life's too easy these days. Too soft. Anything they want, they get. I wanted Marissa Wigley last night. I didn't get very far, <laughs> did I? Listen, mate. If they fancy you, you don't need a posh bed. Anywhere will do. I never brought girls home here for that sort of thing. I was surprised with eight of you in one bed. I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> we weren't supposed to do it in them days. Rigid self-control. That was the thing. Respect for what was right and wrong. Honour and consideration for the girl. Unless she was lucky. <laughs> never in the house. Where did you go then? In the yard. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> oh, the junkyard by moonlight. A setting worthy of Anthony and Cleopatra. <laughs> they had the Nile, you had the Grand Union Canal. They had a barge, you had a junk cart with the horse taken out. They had their pyramids, you had your ten-foot pile of old ball cocks and gas stoves. <laughs> 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 
the inscrutable face of the Sphinx watching over you. Or the next door's Tomcat with his ear torn off. What's to choose? <laughs> we used to manage. I'm sure you did. Tell me, where were all bed chated? Over in the corner by the stable. I used to lean 12 old trolley bus tyres up against the wall and we crawled inside them. Oh, the exotic splendour of it all! <laughs> oh, a veritable tunnel of love. It was very comfortable. Bit dodgy, though. I remember one night, things got a bit hectic and we rolled right out of the yard, out into the middle of the road. <laughs> I should try it sometime. You could do worse. No, thank you. I preferred a more prosaic approach. Tomorrow afternoon I shall stop off at the Bayswater Bedarama and I shall purchase the most comfortable pit in the shop. I'll meet you there. Oh, God, if I said I was going to buy a pair of shoes, you'd want to come along too, wouldn't you? Well, I just want to make sure you're not tucked out. Bed should last you 20 years. If you embarrass me, you'll be confined to one for 20 years. <laughs> All right. And watch it. You've turned up. What a shame. Posh shop, ain't it? It is. So don't give me cause to place my gun boot up the ventilator coat. <laughs> now, wipe your nose and take your ears out of your hat. Well, here we go. Good afternoon. The betting shop is next door. <laughs> I'm well aware of that. And had I wished to place a bet, that is where I would have gone. As it is, I have come about a bed. Well, we don't buy beds, we sell them. Mind, we're very busy. Where? Where? We're the only people in the shop. It is all right, Father. The gentleman is obviously under a misapprehension. A word of advice. Judge ye not a man by the apparel he weareth, nor by the company he keepeth. Mush. <laughs> I think you'll find I has the necessary cost to take the purchase of anything as in this place. I am very sorry, sir, but we are very expensive. The how much is this one? Uh, 350 guineas. Yes, I, I see. Mm, 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 mm. Shall we nip into the betting shop? Shut up. <laughs> uh, would you take his old one in part exchange? Please, no, no. <laughs> You haven't burned it yet. You sit down there at that nice man's desk and read the catalogue and be quiet. And keep your hand up his drawers. I shall be wandering about the shop with him if you need me. You be careful. He's ginger. <laughs> Rubbish. He's got a hanky up his sleeve. That's a sure sign. You've got one round your neck. That doesn't make you a cowboy, does it? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, could we continue? Yes, certainly, sir. Now, perhaps you could give me some idea of what you're looking for. How do you mean? Well, uh, what kind of room is it going into? A bedroom. <laughs> yes, but the decor, I mean, is the room aggressively masculine? Yes, it is. Is it? Yes, and so am I. Oh. Right now, sit down. <laughs> well, we don't want any uh, flippery, do we? No, we don't. No. Um, or, or, or chintzy, like this. No, I don't want anything like that. No. I'll tell you what I would like. Uh, that round one. Oh. I had a quick shufty at it the other day. Ah, yes, the pompadour. Très, très chic, n'est-ce pas? Oh, <laughs> indubitable monde. <laughs> Uh, combien? Uh, quatre cents libres. How much is that in real money? Yeah, uh, four hundred pounds. Oh, uh, uh, je regret uh, le lit a trop cher. A poor mongoo. Oh, monsieur parle français. Oh, see, see, see. <laughs> oh, yes, I mean, well, you're asked to in my trade. See, one gets a lot of frog antique dealers parking around the yard, trying to have the stuff away, thinking I don't know what I've got. Ah, you're an antique. Antique dealer. Well, yes, sort of, in a oh. way. Mixed, you know, bit of this, bit of that. Well, then your home must be exquisitely furnished. <laughs> well, there's a lot of old stuff in there, yes. <laughs> there's that round bed you was talking about. Yes, I know. We've been looking at it. Yeah, this is no good. Goes right down to the floor. Well, most modern beds do, sir. Well, where do you put the Edgar Allen then? The Edgar Allen. <laughs> oh, I see. 
<laughs> well, we naturally assume that most people have separate arrangements for that sort of thing. Well, we haven't. Not inside the house, anyway. <laughs> well, excuse me, one moment, it please. Certainly. Look, you, you are embarrassing me. I am trying to buy myself a bed. And all you do is talk about putting pals underneath his pompadour. <laughs> now shut up and behave yourself. Shall we proceed? Yes. Oh, what's that one over there? Ah, yes, that one. Now, that really is a lot of fun. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. This is a waterbed. A water bed? Mm. It's incredibly comfortable. Now, particularly good for people with bad backs. Look, try patting it, sir. May I? Yes. <laughs> that's clever, isn't it? Yeah, that's no good. It all gets seasick. Hey, look, why don't you lie down and try it properly, sir? Oh, oh yes, please. Oh, how oh, oh, my gumbers. Well, you? Yes, certainly, oh, sir. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is marvellous. Oh, it's so comfortable. It's like a large balloon full of water. It moulds itself to the exact contour of the body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, no, it's like a jelly. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Jelly on a plate. <laughs> it can also be plugged into the electric circuit in order to heat the water in the bed. Oh, that's good. You can cook your breakfast without getting out of bed. <laughs> put a tap into it, you could make a tea as well. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. At least you won't have any trouble with bed bugs. It'll drown them. <laughs> I'm very impressed with it. Uh, there's just one thing. Uh, come here. Yes? Uh, what's it like for... Uh, well, I mean, can you? But it doesn't interfere with... Uh, you. Well, it's very relaxing. Yeah. Eases bodily tension, medically therapeutic. Yes, yes, but until you get used to it, I mean, is it difficult to... What's it like for crampage? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have to keep one foot on the floor? <laughs> oh, I see. Well, you will find that any activity one would engage in on a normal bed can be engaged on... On this one. He don't want to be engaged, mate. You will find the gentle undulations of the water beneath the body when in Congress does have a direct yes. stimulating yes. effect yes. when allied with the oh. rhythmic vibration. Don't let me! Oh, let me! Oh, let me! Oh, let me! Oh, what a sheets and a blanket as well. Ah! That would work out at... Oh, where's my pocket calculator? Oh, it's in my pocket. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, 200 pounds, exactement. Oh, très bon, très bon. Is my card. Thank you. Oil, drum, lane, shepherd's bush. Uh, upper? Upper what? Upper shepherd's bush. <laughs> Here. It won't affect my water rights, will it? <laughs> no, sir. When can you deliver? Yeah, Thursday morning, oh, COD. God. Now, good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I hope not. <laughs> good afternoon. Uh, come, father. Uh. If we hurry, we can have dinner at the club. Give him back his calculator. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, b -b -b right. Take the hose out. Yes. Put the plug in. Yeah, see. All set. Listen, oh. now I've told Marissa about it. Have you? She's never been on one before. I bet. She's very excited about it. She's really? coming around tonight to try it out. Really? Yes. I uh, think we've put enough water in, don't you? Enough? There's about a tonne of water in there. It's the floor I'm worried about. When you start that Congress lark, it's liable to go right through it. But I've tested the floor. The joist is quite adequate. Oh, no. What? Look, look that, the eating elements come adrift. The water's freezing cold. Well, I've got to go to work. Ah, oh, don't worry. I'll sort that out for you. I'll soon mend that. Will you make the bed as well? Yeah, yeah. Go on. Won't be worth you going out at all if you don't hurry up. Yeah, all right. Now, Melissa's coming round at nine o'clock. So I want you in bed, the door locked, and no yeah. cobbling. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shall see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> right. This won't take long. There's an electric soldering iron in somewhere. There it is. Now plug that in. Uh, it won't take long to heat up. Oh, God. Always the same. Just as you're going to start something. Hello? Steptoe and Sun Limited. Albert Steptoe, Chairman, Managing Director, Company Secretary and Treasurer speaking. Jam jars? Eight and each. 
Listen, missus, if you think I'm sending a man and a horse and cart round for six jam jars, you've got another think coming. <laughs> Silly old cow. <laughs> now, where's that soldering iron? I could have sworn I left it on the bed. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's in the bed. It's gone right through. Yeah. How do you sew up a water bed? I'll, I'll cut a lump out of me plastic mac. And I'll, and I'll go and stay with me sister. <laughs> Dad? Dad? Oh, God. He's done what he's told for once. He's gone to bed. <laughs> I shall give him a toffee in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, do you uh, fancy a drink before we uh, hit the water? Oh, no, thanks. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. You shall, you shall. Oh, does it really sort of undulate? Oh. Pardon? <laughs> oh, oh, you mean go up and down? Yeah. Oh, yes, it's very conducive. Oh, oh I'm, I'm so sorry about last time, Marissa. Oh, that's all right, Harold. I'll make it up to you tonight, I promise you. Oh, mm. oh. Mm. Mm. oh Harold. Oh, Marissa. Oh, Marissa, oh. Marissa. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh, I'll race you upstairs. Oh, oh. 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 don't, don't. Your hands are cold. Let me get there. Ta-da! There it is. Oh, Harold, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. That's nothing. You wait till you get on it. Oh, come on then. A quick dive from the doorway. Right, right, right. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Radio England UK 2. Shut up. Get out of here, old girl. Please, get out. Get out of it. Keep your silly old candle. Remember, it was, it was my home before you came here. Now, get out of it. Get out of your old silly little barker. It's <laughs> now a nice silly little barker. There we are. Oh, dear damn thing, a dog. Oh, dear. Well, the trouble is, you see... Well, excuse me, I'm, you're here. I'm, I didn't expect you so soon. Uh, would you mind if I finish my meal? You don't mind if I just finish, do you, before we get on with the thing? i tell you why, because being a slave, you see, I'm not allowed to eat with the rest of the household. Not, or not allowed to eat with this lot. Oh, no! No, no, they're very fussy, very snobbish. They leave two bowls out. One for me, one for the dog, you see. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. So I'll just finish it. Oh, poof, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, that damn dog. <laughs> It's not what you think, just a minute. It's the third time it's switched bowls on me this week. And I'm not eating that, I tell you. I don't care if it's full of good nourishing marabone jelly, I'm not eating it. <laughs> well, let's get on with this prologue, right, the prologue? Right. <clears throat> Greetings, good citizens, the prologue. Our story this week... <laughs> Can I go high, then? <laughs> with this cold bench. Ah, <laughs> we are. Our, that's better. Our story this week concerns Icarus. Icarus. Now, Icarus, as you know, was the first man to attempt flight. Flight. Now, he had the want, often, he had the want, <laughs> wait a minute, of laying there in the sun, head, you know, with his head like that, arms under his head, looking, looking, and he, in the sun, on his back, uh, studying the birds. <laughs> and, um, yes, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And you see, try, but he couldn't find the secret of flight. But one day he was lying there, arms akimbo, looking up in the air, and a little bird was flying overhead. And suddenly it hit him. <laughs> <laughs> so he rushed out, and he made a pair of wings for his arms, you see. Took the cord out of the, the water that again. It, so, he, so he rushed out. <laughs> Put a pair of... Oh, God, help him. <laughs> the pills are wearing off already. Right? <laughs> so he rushed out, so he rushed out. He, uh, he built a pair of wings for his arms, took the claws out of his contract, and stuck a couple of feathers... <laughs> Wait a minute, up and jumper. Whoa, and whoa, whoa. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Oh, dear. What's the matter? Now, this is the soothsayer, Senna. The soothsayer. Hi, the soothsayer, Senna. 
wish to auger something. What are you, Penny? Hurry up, dear. I just called last August. <laughs> <laughs> For three days and nights, I have been on the sacred mountain. The sacred and mountain? there, at the shrine of the oracle, I looked into the entrails of a sheep and saw a terrible thing. Oh, dear. Well, you should have called the manager, dear, and sent it back. <laughs> Silly. Yes, well, I mean, the service round here is really awful. <laughs> all right, then, all right. What do you expect, wit? <laughs> The court is showing the business. You should know that by now. What? It was a warning. There was a slave, a stranger called Spartacus in the land. Spartacus? And he will free all the slaves. Free the slaves? I don't believe it. If I lie, may I be stoned? Oh, you are stoned, dear. Out of, <laughs> out of your mind, you must be. There will be great bloodshed. Bloodshed? The slaves will become the masters, and the masters the slaves. Slaves the masters, masters. I mean... I don't... I never heard such rubbish! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we are. That was Senna. What a moving performance. <laughs> yeah, the slaves become the masters, the masters the slaves. What a load of old rubbish! Yes, Circio? Oh, not you, Master. No, no, no. Oh, well, what was old Senna saying? Oh, she's a silly woman. She was saying something about a slave rising, a, 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 a Spartacus. Oh, no, no, it's not so silly, Lurkio. Isn't it? Well, no, in fact, we down at the Senate are very worried. Are you? Oh, yes. no wonder you've got the wind up. <laughs> <laughs> Spartacus. Now, Spartacus really exists. Yes. The other day he was reported down at the marketplace stirring up trouble. Was he? Yes. And when the centurions arrived, he wasn't there. Well, he wasn't there again today? No, oh, how I wish he'd go away. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone asked, has any suggestions as to improving this script, will they put them on a postcard, please, and send them to this address? The Forum, Mile Endus Road, <laughs> Pompey, Isle of Wight. <laughs> But Lurkio, Lurkio, the most terrible thing is that my own son, Northios, has got mixed up with the cause. Well, let's face it, Master, yours has been a bit mixed up, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. But when you see him, you must warn him that the Senate has just passed a new law that anyone found preaching revolt will be thrown into jail, yes. flogged, hung, drawn, and quarter, boiled in oil, and thrown to the lions. Yes, Master. Is that all? <laughs> I think it's enough, don't you? Well, after all, we're not barbarians, are we? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> silly old fool. <laughs> well, he is. He's past it. I mean, it's so silly. Mind you, I must say this. Actually, that was, is a very lenient punishment, really, for here, you know. Because in the old days, they used to find them. Oh, yes, in the old days. I remember a, a dear old slave friend of mine. You've got a minute, haven't you? You sure? Yes, I don't know. Uh, no. Just, no, but listen, listen a minute, please. No, don't. Now, listen. Now, this old slave friend of mine called his master a four-letter word. He did. You put my life, you did. He called his master a four-letter word. And he went up to him, he said, you are a four-letter word. And, of course, unfortunately, uh, my master only knew one four-letter word. Which wasn't surprising, really, because he was one. But the thing was... But he had my slave friend hauled off to a court, yes, and they gave him a suspended sentence. They hung him. <laughs> so, so ever since then, I don't get mixed up in slave risings. Oh, no, oh, no. Keep quiet, I say to myself. Keep quiet, I say. And look after numero unus. <laughs> you know the wise words of Plautus. It is a well-known fact but most Roman citizens lived by the old and worn axiom, non vexato tibi jacos sum ego bonum, which, translated rudely into the vernacular, would mean, I fret not unduly over your circumstances, O oh Jack. <laughs> I, in a good position, um, is. <laughs> That's what I said, you silly old four-letter word. That's what I said. I'm to think he gets good money for writing that rubbish. I don't know. Well, let's get on with the prologue now, shall we? Yes. <coughs> and it can... Oh, stop. Oh. <laughs> My flat keeps getting up, you see. <laughs> it's a draft round here. And it came to pass... <laughs> Someone leaking. <laughs> oh, it 
it's you, mistress. She's hissed again. <laughs> We've got a re common lot here tonight, I think. Yes, mistress. Ekim, has my husband gone yet? Yes, mistress, he's gone. Good. Then come up to my bedroom. Bedroom? <laughs> yes, quickly. Oh? Oh, they, they don't waste any time, do they? <laughs> oh, but it's not right, is it? I mean, not so soon after eating, is it? <laughs> It's like swimming. You can't do it after a heavy meal. <laughs> well, I mean, at least not energetically. I mean, you can, perhaps a bit of the breaststroke. Get down, dog! Ah! Oh, what the heck? Oh, that dog! Oh, it is a monster. It really is. Look at it's down low. <laughs> Oh, please. Oh, mind, shush, mis mistress. Six inches closer, I could have lost my temper. <laughs> oh, quiet, Lurkio, please. Well, what's the matter, mistress? Under the bed. Pardon? <laughs> Under the bed. Oh, don't forget. Oh, dear, I didn't forget to put one there again, did I? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, Lurkio, Lurkio, are you sure there's no one in the house? No, mistress, there's no one in the house. Oh, good. <laughs> You can come out now. Oh, gracious, under the bed as well. This must be old Jerry. <laughs> Thank you, lady. I shall forget what you've done. Oh, nor I. Oh, no, nor I, mistress. Good gracious, I'm surprised it's you. I mean, in, in broad daylight, in your own room, and in your riding boots. <laughs> oh, pray don't misunderstand, Lurkio. He's not my lover, I'm afraid. Oh. No, it's you he's after. Pardon? <laughs> Lady, would you leave us alone? Oh, certainly. Yes. Uh, now then, let's get down to it. Yeah, excuse me. Um... <laughs> Look, I must go and do the prologue, if you excuse me. But but wait! You don't know who I am. Yeah, but it's not who you are that worries me, it's what you are. Excuse me. They call me Spartacus. Spartacus? Ah, I see that rings a bell. Yes, and talking of ringing a bell, I could use a tinkle. Excuse me. <laughs> Stay where you are. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, listen, who made your suit? I should take that back. There's a sleeve missing. Enough! I am going to lead a revolt, and I need your support. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I haven't got a support. But you can borrow one of my master's old trusses if you like. <laughs> Enough of that! If this revolt is to be successful, I need the backing of every slave for the fight ahead. Oh, you'll find me very reliable, sir. Show me a fight ahead, I'll start backing away. <laughs> You would not fight for your freedom. What are you, man or mouse? Pass the cheese, please. <laughs> Forget it. I won't force any man to act like a man any more than I would force any woman to act like a woman. Oh, I'm sorry I can't help you, sir. Now, if you want a man who can act like a woman... Well... There's Danny La Ruinous. <laughs> go, go! Wait a minute, I didn't get that. Danny La Ruinous. <laughs> oh, don't bother, forget. Oh, skip. Don't bother now. It's too late now. Oh, go, go! I'm, I'm talking to them. I'm just going to go. Go! go. But, ah! One word of warning, weakling. Yes. Betray me or my cause and I will slit you from ear to ear. Ear to where? Ear. Oh, <laughs> I mark that spot, yes. Remember that we have never met. No, oh, no, we never met. You do not know who I am. No, I don't know who you are. Just remember that we have never had the pleasure. No, no, well, he's right. <laughs> I, I, I haven't had the pleasure for weeks, oh, no. And so this is my message to you. Let us all live together in love, love, love. You, you poor girls. Loose yourselves from the bonds of slavery. Don't be bonds women, be loose women. <laughs> Just remember, do your own thing. All you need is love. 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 <laughs> or I keep the bloody bones. <laughs> I was only going to bury it for him all. The, there's no gratitude, these beasts. Oh, please be quiet, Lurkio. I'm oh. trying to make a speech. Young master, what are you doing? Oh, Lurkio, I've at last found my own thing. If you... Oh! <laughs> After all this time, what a relief. Freedom is love. Freedom, Freedom is, is love. love. That's it, girls, you've got it. 
Oh, lucky you. What? Are they not a lovely pair? Oh, you're yeah, both lovely pairs. <laughs> these pamphlets, man. Man, you could have fooled me. <laughs> Listen, what's on these pamphlets? Oh, just a little ode I composed to freedom and love. An ode to freedom, ah, sweet. Ah, may I read it to the populace? <laughs> An ode to freedom. A man can never e'er be free while there's a ruling class. So slap your master in the face and kick him hello. <laughs> Get ready for it. Here we are. And kick him in the teeth. I was lost for a rhyme there. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not, because you're in enough trouble as it is. Oh, dear. Look, your father said you've got to go home at once, or you'll land up in jail. Keep your cool, Lurky. I must do my own thing. Yeah, you'll be doing time if you're not careful. Where's these pamphlets? Let me have them. Here we are. What? What? Well, what should I do with the... You dare. Uh, you dare. <laughs> well, well, perhaps you're right, Lurky. After all, father knows best. Yes, father knows best. Go off your home. Oh, go on, father knows best. Go, go on. Here you are. These are yours. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Young fools. <laughs> Here, look at that. Freedom is love. Free the slaves, I should coco. I mean, I... How do you do? I would say... <laughs> Great Jupiter the fuzz. <laughs> now, the, uh... Chili. Yes, oh, he hasn't seen the act. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, there were the pamphlets. Uh, no, uh, Captain, there's been a mistake. Been a mistake, as the hairbrush said to the hedgehog. <laughs> as the hairbrush said to the... Oh, don't bother, does it? <laughs> Ode to freedom. Yes. No. Free the slaves. Uh, well, you see... Up, Spartacus. Oh, I couldn't have put it better. <laughs> you know, it's time you were incarcerated in a nice, damp dungeon. Oh, don't do that. Oh, no, don't. Oh, to be incarcerated... I don't want to be incarcerated. Incarcerated. <laughs> Look it up in the dictionary. Incarcerated. Oh, I'm too young to die. Too Come young. Come on, then. Come I'm just, on. Wait a minute. I'm finished yet. Oh. Oh, I'm sure. Go. There's a monologue here. It's my best bit. <laughs> oh, I forgot where I am. <laughs> I don't want to die. I'm innocent. There's been a grave miscarriage of justice. Spare me, spare me, spare me. Mm, thank you. Nice. I'm a lot now. It left me nothing to say. <laughs> Good. Now, come on. Oh, dear. All right. But you try and get another part in this show. That's right. Yeah. Oh, don't apologise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a well-known fact that in the Great May Rebellion, 350 slaves were wrongfully arrested and, um, executed. Hence the well-known Centurion's marching song, Here we go gathering nuts in May. <laughs> oh, dear. Here I am, in the dungeon, incarcerated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's a terrible thing. Oh, all alone, left here to die. Oh, what a terrible fate. This is what comes of trying to hold out a helping hand to a friend. One ends up by residing in the pokey. <laughs> oh, my fate to be boiled in oil. Boiled in oil. I must think about it. I must think about something nice. Happy. Let me think of the past. The happy days of the past. Ah, yes, the past. Ah, my dear old mother. I wonder where she is. And my dear old father. I wonder who he was. <laughs> Oh, those happy days, those violin lessons with my little kid sister. I wonder who's fiddling with her now. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Oh, another one with a leak. <laughs> Hello then, matey. Good evening. How are you feeling then? Nicely, thanks. Yes. I've put the future out of my mind. Yeah, that's yes. this stuff, matey. Here, here's oh. your breakfast. What is it? Sardines. Oh, sardines. Oh, delicious. Sardines. Boiled in oil. <laughs> 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 ran round the cell block. <laughs> uh, Sadie. Oh, talking of titters, I must bust out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut your gobs. No, I, no, I'm 
possum is break out of here. You here? I mean, it's like I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. I am too. Is this straw? Is this straw they give you to sleep on? Oh, I'm red raw underneath. I really am. Oh, if I can only escape. Oh, it's locked. It's a, oh, the trap door here. Ah, oh, it's locked. And I don't know the combination. Oh, damn clever, these Romans. Always had combinations with trapdoors. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm innocent. Let me out. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Oh. Oh, I'm innocent. Where's the cat? Here. Look, look. Real tears. Real tears. Oh, no glycerine rubbish. No real tears. Mind you, it's not difficult for an actor like me to cry, you know. I just have to think of the money they pay me for this show and I'm in floods. <laughs> I said I'd bring the house down. Look. Oh dear. Oh God, I was break out of here. It's the loneliness, the loneliness, the loneliness. No one to talk to. No one to talk to. Oh, I wonder if, it, if there's anyone in the next cell. Anyone there? They're answering. <laughs> I'll tap out a message in Morse's codeine. <laughs> Who are you? Please answer. They're answering. Please stop banging. <laughs> There's people here trying to sleep. Charming, <laughs> isn't it? There's a gesture of friendship. Oh. Well, 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 and how are we this bright summer's day? How are we? Shocking. Bright summer's day. There's a lot of good it is to me. Well, then, how can you how can you get a nice suntan in front of a silly little window like that? I mean, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> That's enough. Well, my news should cheer you up. What? Your sentence has been commuted to Commute? life imprisonment. Life imprisonment? You mean I'm not going to die? No, damn it. You must have friends in high places. Well, high places? The only high place I know is the fish market. I've got no friends there. <laughs> life imprisonment. Oh, what a sentence. There isn't even a verb in it all. Life imprisonment. <laughs> Anyway, you're the luckiest slave in this city. Lucky why? You're safer in here than out. Why? Well, Spartacus leading a revolt of the slaves. Is he? Now, when that happens, yes. Spartacus and every other slave in this city <coughs> put to the sword. Oh, put to the sword. Oh, yes, I'm better off. Well, make sure that that door lock me in. Oh, don't want. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm better off in here, aren't I? At least, at least I shall live the rest of my life. Maybe even more. Let's face it. <laughs> well, it's not a bad sell, really, is it? I mean, you know, one could really make it quite pretty. Couldn't one, really, if one was to just rustle up the straw, just a whimsy, and, and polish the chains. One could make it quite pretty, couldn't one? Uh, one thing, at least I'm my own master. I'm not bossed about by senators and mistresses and things like that. Hey, here, what? Here. Don't worry, matey. What? I'm on the slave side. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll soon get you out of here. Yes, but I don't want to be going out of here. Of course you don't. But... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, look, don't overdo it, thank you very much. No, but now, wait a minute, we're not, we're not doing the hunchback of Notre Dame, let's face it, no. <laughs> right, now listen, all you've got to do is yeah. bash me over the head, bash pinch me keys, and you're away, <laughs> see? Look, I don't want to get out of here, do Come I? Come on, you don't have to bash me very no, hard. I have no <laughs> intention of bashing your jello. Blimey, you didn't have to overdo it. <laughs> oh. Where's he go? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Restless. Wait a minute, he's showing his knickers. Wait a minute. <laughs> You can stay there and rock with him. Oh, no, no, don't leave me here with him. There's only room for one. Oh, please, Captain. Oh, please, have mercy. Oh, let me help you up. That's it. Uh, oh, 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 dear. Uh, uh, it's you. I thought it was the sardines. It's you. <laughs> You'll never get the ring of confidence, I'll tell you that. Oh, oh, terrible. Oh, dear. Hello? 
Is it her for you? Hello, it must be the chaplain. This way, sir. Uh, oh, thank you, Captain. I just want to tell this vile, treacherous slave no, what must. I think of him. May I borrow your truncheon, Captain? With pleasure. Uh, perhaps you'd better leave us alone. It may be rather nasty. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's having a leak today. Yes, master, I'm innocent. I swear I'm innocent. Oh, I know, I know, Lurkio. Nauseous told me you took all the blame for him. I can't tell you how truly grateful I am. Oh, it's you that's had my sentence commuted to life in yeah, prison. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. But, yes, 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 but, <laughs> quiet, quiet, quickly, quickly, take these things. What, is, what have you got? I've got a hammer, nails and a saw and some wood. Saw? What for? To make a ladder to reach that window and then you can escape. But I don't want to escape, oh, master. Of course you want to escape. Now listen, look here, I can't leave you here in these frightful conditions. You've got to escape. Oh, I don't want to escape. Yes, Do you mind? Look, don't get familiar. We've, we've, we've only just met, so be good. Now, lie down. Get back again where you were. Ah. Thought I smelt a rat. Phew, I know it's him. There. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take those. No, no. Now you can join the two of them here. Oh. <laughs> here, 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 my man. Here, here, here Captain. Captain. I'm a, I'm a senator. A senator, he is? Come here back at once, my... Oh, no, oh, oh, I'm a senator. Oh, oh. oh look, you... Oh, look, oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Well, I, well, I did my best. Well, if that's I'm your best... I'm sorry. If that's your best, Master, I'd hate to see your worst. <laughs> oh, well, don't let's get down hard. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, we just have to make ourselves as comfortable as possible. Well, that shouldn't be difficult, I suppose. We must just take it in turns to breathe. <laughs> oh, um, you haven't met our cellmate, have you? Oh. Pongus Maximus. <laughs> How do you do? Ah, oh, there you are, Captain. I was looking for my husband. Oh, if it's a curly, topped old geezer in a purple toga, he's locked up in there. Oh, how very providential. Oh, oh yeah. Eh? Hey? I've often seen you around the town, Captain, and found you uh, more than desirable. Oh, have you now? Yes. Wow. Oh, and, uh, not here, Captain. Haven't you a room somewhere? <laughs> yes, yeah, straight down the corridor. Second on the left. Well, you go there and get ready, and I'll be there in ten minutes. I'll go and turn down the straw. <laughs> Can I come in? Yes, plenty of room on top. <laughs> Ammonia! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Yes, come to that. What are we all doing here? The pubs have been open for matter for hours now. I only came to try to help Lurkio to escape. Oh, anything. never mind that. I have a much better plan. Lurkio must put on my things, then he can leave here unnoticed. But, Mistress, I don't understand. Oh, there's not a moment to lose. And I don't want... Oh. Take off your clothes. Yes. Now, but wait a minute. Not you. <laughs> Hurry up. Help me out of my thing. Yes, but not you. <laughs> He's only supposed to have a small part. <laughs> Lurkio, what? Lurkio, listen to me. Yes, now, I'm what you, you are. Now, what you must do is to put on my things, then you can leave here unsuspected. But I don't want to leave here, mistress. Oh, don't be silly, Lurkio. You don't think I'll let you suffer for my son's stupidity, do you? Do it. No, now, well, look. Quickly, quickly, let's change clothes. Look, all right, well, oh, dear, yes, all right, let's change clothes. <laughs> oh, there I am with all this. <laughs> Take them off. Oh, I'm taking them off, aren't <laughs> I? Don't look, 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 change clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes, you do this. Hey, don't let me stay in. We spent four hours rehearsing this. You'd never think so, would you? <laughs> all right, I'm putting them on. I don't wear the... What about you? Well, I'm all right, Loki. I'm not involved in anything. And if they search me, they won't find anything. <laughs> oh, well, if they search me, they'll find plenty, that's for sure. Oh, Loki, don't waste time. Off you go. All right, then, but... Oh, oh but the, the door's locked. It won't open. But I put the keys on the outside. It can't be. Well, it can be, and it is. It won't open. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, the laughing policeman. <laughs> well, mistress, I'm afraid you must prepare to settle down here the rest of your life. Here you are. Here's your piece of straw. Am I to be confined? 
mind here. With three men here, it's more than likely. <laughs> I heard a noise under the floor. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> naughty -ish. Mother, can what? I come up? Yes, do come. Join the merry throng. <laughs> oh, dear lucky. You see, I didn't forget you. No, nobody forgot me. <laughs> this is Iris. Oh, Iris. Well, if you're Iris, come into the parlour. <laughs> That's right, men. come on, men. Come on, then. That's it. That's right. The girls here have volunteered to keep the guards occupied yeah. while you get away. Yes, it's a much better idea. Get this lot out and leave the girls here to keep me occupied. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, Lurk, you know. Off you go. Now, you're one big happy family. Enjoy yourselves. Oh, no. He's done it. Oh, dear. Going up, second floor. <laughs> Underwear, sheets, and bedding. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, it's all right. We're going to be here for a long time, so keep bumping. <laughs> what pretty bumpers! What's that noise? It's Spartacus. Oh, oh, oh. The uprising is starting. Oh. He's attacking the prison of Eno. Oh, there's an uprising. Spartacus attacking. There are thousands of men outside there engaged in mortal combat. Thousands fighting their lives. Thousands. We don't think you're going to see it, do you? <laughs> Just take my word for it, that's all. <laughs> oh, what a fight! Oh, I wish we could see what was going on. Well, it's a beautiful day here at the Pompeii Arena, and I should think we have gathered what could well be described as a record crowd. What do you think, Richie? Shut up. Yes, here you are, gathered to see a tremendously exciting contest between the Pompeian slaves and the gay lacy briefs and the Roman centurions. Oh, shut up, you silly old four-letter word. <laughs> no. Three-letter word. Why? Why give him more than his worth? Three-letter word. You're working Stop. out for yourselves. What? It's stopped. It's all over. Oh! It's over. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 The is eyes. The seas have triumphed over the mast. Well, well. The BBC might be a bit mean with uh, fighting soldiers, but they certainly lash out with the tomato sauce. <laughs> Completely overcome. Completely. Oh, God. the officers all dead. The NCOs surrounded. Oh, and the privates cut off. Oh, they've lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> what? What? What's going to become of us? Ah. Ah. That's up to your servant, Lurkio, to decide. Oh. He's the master now. Oh. I'm the master. Well, well, well. I'm the master now. There's a turn up for the book. I, the one minute, dear. I must accustom myself to my new position. Ah, and now you may recommence the dialogue. Oh, dear, dear, Lurkio, now that you're the master, what are you going to do with them? Well, I, I hadn't thought about that. And me? I've thought about that. <laughs> oh, Lurkio, I must be frank. That's all right, dear. You'll be frank and I'll be ammonia. <laughs> as long as you don't come the acid. <laughs> More milk, master. Mum, yeah, well, just, perhaps just a soup song. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and perhaps... Yeah, just a little more sugar, please. Oh, yes. Will that be all, Master? Uh, yes, yes, you may go. Yes. Oh, yes, no, wait a minute. I seem to have lost the soap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kindly retrieve it for me, will you? Oh, certainly, Master. <laughs> oh. I hope she's brought her flippers. <laughs> I say, cinders. <laughs> Yes, Master. Master, I think I've finished all the polishing and cleaning now. Would there be aught else, Master? Uh, yes. Uh, stone me a fig. Uh, yes, Master. <laughs> master, may I have my food now, please? What? Food? But you had a bowl of gruel only yesterday. Yes, I know, Master, but I'm feeling hungry again, oh, Master. dear, you are a guts, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, very well, then. <laughs> Up the day! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, your food out is out there, in a bowl, next to the dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Master. 
I'm rotten, aren't I? Rotten, I am. That's why I like this part. Peter, Peter, wonderful news. Caesar's army has landed. Spartacus and the slaves have all fled. We are the masters again. We are the masters again. Oh, well, well, well. Did you hear that, Lecchio? Yes, but I don't think we should let it affect our way of life, do you? <laughs> don't you now, Lecchio? No, a little more fan, dear. Mm, I'll give you fan. <laughs> Thank you. Get out of here, you <laughs> low down. Oh, you don't old. I know. Oh, dear, back to being lovable again. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> no, no, let go. Don't, don't do it. Let go. Drop it. Drop it! Drop it! Let's drop it now, please! <laughs> oh dear, oh you naughty little dog! Oh, aren't you awful? <laughs> oh, what a monster he is, he really is! Well, salute, salute! Radio England UK 2. Sent Arthur Lowe, John LeMessure, and Clive Dunn in Dad's Army. <laughs> Big Guns, featuring John Laurie, Uncle Ridley, and Ian Lavender, with this week's guests, Larry Martin and Julian Orchard. <laughs> Here is the news, and this is John Snag reading it. Hitler continues to unleash the dogs of war. From the frozen wastes of Russia to the burning sands of the western desert, the ravening hounds of Nazism pillage and terrorize. But down at Warmington-on-Sea, it is a pleasant spring morning in 1942, and a Pickford's van has just brought a surprise delivery to the headquarters of the local home guard. Here. Is your name Mannerin? It is. Well, sign this chitty and I'll be on my way. What's it say, Wilson? Smith, uh, uh... Uh, a note from you, a call from us. A date is fixed, no worry or fuss. A Pickford van, a gentle giant, the work is done. A satisfied client. <laughs> oh, no time for poetry. What, what, what's all this about? Look, just sign it. I can't hang about. we got six more to deliver today. What exactly is it you want me to sign for? Blimey, can't you read? It's got it on the chitty. One thirteen-pounder and two cases of ammunition. What did you say? Mr. Manry, there's a huge firing piece out in the yard. <laughs> yeah, it's a ruddy great gun. What? I'd better go and have a look. Look, will somebody sign this chitty? Yes, of course, yes. Uh, have you got a pen? Yeah. Thank you, Fitz. There you are. There's your chitty. <clears throat> I beg your pardon? My pen, please. What? what? Oh, tell me. Yes, there you are. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's all right, mate. That's how I got it. <laughs> Wilson, come and look at this gun. I'm coming, sir. Well, what do you think of it? I say... It's rather big, isn't it? <laughs> Hitler comes down, we'll blast him right into kingdom come. <laughs> How's it work, Jimmy? I haven't the foggiest notion. Have you ever handled one of these, Josie? No, Mr. Wilson. We used to use the Gatlin when we was in the Sudan. <laughs> <laughs> we turned a handle. It's invented by an American dentist named Mr. Gatlin. And in the Sudan, we used to form up in a square with a gun in the middle. And when them whirling dervishes come rushing towards us with their blood-curdling cries, we waited till the last minute, and then we used to bob down, and then the blokes behind us would let them have it. Rat -tat 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 -tat. <laughs> Mind you, if you didn't bob down quick enough, you used to get the top of your helmet shot off. <laughs> Hence the expression, get your head down. <laughs> really? There's a, there's a plate on the side here, so it says, uh, 13 pound a naval gun. Naval gun? Yes. Oh, we're in luck. Fraser was in the Navy. That's right, sir, yes. Uh, uh, Chief Petty Officer. Walker, get Fraser and the rest of the platoon. Yes, sir. Here, Tappy, come and see what Father Christmas bought. <laughs> well, Fraser should be able to give us the drill. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, look, there's a telescope thing there. Yes, that's right. Uh, they're the sights, Jersey. Oh, the sights. Yes, yeah. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, I can see some sights through it, all right. <laughs> I can see a stack. And there's a couple of people on it, and they're... <laughs> Here, come and have a look, Mr. Wilson. What? 
Oh, yes, it is rather unusual. Look, look, there's no time for that now. <laughs> hey, look at that gun. Is it ours, Uncle Sergeant? It would appear so, Frank, yes. Uh, does it uh, make a very big bang? Well, let's face it, it's not exactly a pea shooter, is it, Mr. Coffrey? Yes, <laughs> and it's always give me an awful headache. Uh, that's why I used to dread Guy Fox night, sir. So. Ah, uh, <laughs> what's all the kerfuffle about, eh? Ah, Fraser. I expect you've seen one of these guns before, eh? Oh. Boy, I have that I Well, to us, it's a very mysterious piece of mechanism. To you, it's probably like meeting an old friend. Yeah, how'd you shoot it, Mr. Fraser? Mm, well, no. Can I say I'm over-familiar with this particular weapon? Surely one gun is very like another. I mean, you, you must know the principle of the thing. Oh, I heard you say the principle is the same. Come on, Fraser, show us what to do. Yeah, come on, let's get cracking. Well, it's not just as simple as it looks, you know. However, the basic idea is that the shells go in at one end of that barrel and they come out at the other. Steady, Jock. Don't get too technical. <laughs> You're a chief petty officer, weren't you, Fraser? How was that? Well, perhaps Fraser didn't have uh, too much to do with guns. That's right. That's right, Sergeant. What did you do? Oh, oh I did uh, all sorts of things. Such as? Mostly I was a cook. A cook? <laughs> Look, and all the time I thought you were something important. Here, if you were on a ship, would you not think that your food was important? But you said that you'd fought at Jutland. I did not say that. I said I was at Jutland. Sailors eat, you know, even in battle. When the shells are flying, it takes a strong man to stay below and make shepherds pie. <laughs> and an even stronger one to eat it. <laughs> I had to be strong to do anything with the boats. I, I used to feel a little queasy, even on the seventh time. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a disappointment, Fraser, but uh, I'm sure we'll manage somehow. Sorry. Sorry I let you down, sir. No, no, no. You haven't let us down, Fraser. Hey, Mr. Mannerin. Yeah? I nearly drove off and forgot. This handbook comes with a gun. I think it tells you how to make it go off. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Ah, oh, here we are. 13 pounder, quick firing, Mark 5 gun. Ah, all here in the handbook, Wilson. Oh, jolly good, sir. Mm. Good. Now, the gun crew consists of GL, SS trainer, breech worker, and two loaders. Permissioner speak, sir. Yes, Jim. I should like to volunteer to be GL, SS trainer, breeches worker. <laughs> Thank you, Jones. I think that's the entire gun crew. Perhaps they, uh, perhaps they explain it more fully in a later chapter. Yes, yes, I'll read on. Yes, position for close-up. Oh, we used to do that in the vicar's pantomime, sir. In the funny drill scene, close-up, he used to say, and we all lifted our clothes up. <laughs> I bet that was hilarious. It was. The vicar played the dame. He was very good, he was, sir. Yes, I saw him. <laughs> Frightened me to death. <laughs> anyway, now let's concentrate on the matter in hand. Number one, the gun layer. Get the R. GL. See? Gun layer. <laughs> Number one, the gun layer sits at the elevating wheel on the left of the gun barrel. Mr. Speaks up. Mm -hmm. I'd like to volunteer to be the GL layer on the left of the gun barrel. If, if it's a sitting job, sir, it might suit me. <laughs> yes, very well, Godfrey. Take up your position. Uh, yes, sir. Give him a hand, Morgan. Right. Oh, sit down, easy, Mr. Godfrey. Go on. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> there we are. Now we've got him in that seat. He'll have to stay there for the rest of the war. It all right. <laughs> Number two, the breech worker sits on the right in line with the breech, which is that bit where the shells go in. I should like to volunteer to be the breech worker on the right in line with the breech, which is the bit where the shells go in. Yeah, all, all right, Jones, you sit there. Well, shall I sit side saddle or astride? Just sit down. <laughs> now, number three, the loader. Presumably that means the man who loads the shells into the breech, wouldn't you say? Yes, well, that seems eminently logical to me, sir. Yes. <laughs> now, the loader. That can be you, Pike. Sir? Stands behind the gun layer, which is Godfrey. Right, Pike, st stand behind Godfrey. Yes, Mr. Manreen. The trainer sits at the training wheel on the right of the barrel. You can be the trainer, Fraser. Aye, sir. Then there's another loader who stands behind the first loader. Walker, you stand behind Pike. Right, Mr. Manreen. S.S. Stands at the sights. I wonder what SS means. Uh, sights superintendent, you think? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That'd better be you. 
Right, now, we're all clear so far. <clears throat> this seems not very comfortable, sir. Not meant to be comfortable, Godfrey. This is war. <laughs> now, what's next? Ah, oh, yeah. Clear away any obstructions to the working of the gun. You'd better get rid of Jones here for a start. That'll do, Walter. <laughs> next, open the breach. Right, Jones, open the breach. Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh, it won't shift. Give him a hand, Pike. Morton. Yes, sir, right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I, I think it's rusted up, sir. Here, let me have a go. <coughs> no, it's no good. Excuse me, sir. Uh, perhaps I can help. Ah. <laughs> there you are, sir. You had the safety catch on. You see. <laughs> Thank you, Wilson. <laughs> Wondered how long it'd be before somebody spotted that. <laughs> Next, the breach worker. That's you, Jones. Reports, bore clear. Right, call out that bit about the bore, Jones. It's a bore. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> bore clear, bore clear. Oh, yes. Bore clear, bore clear, bore clear, bore yeah, clear, right, bore... Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me, Mr. Manreen. Are we going to do some real fire, Ian? Of course we're not, you stupid boy. I'm just going to pretend. <laughs> now, the loader loads the shell into the gun. Right, sir. And calls, gun loaded to the breech worker. Gun loaded to the breech worker? No, no. <laughs> Just gun loaded, Pike. Sorry. It says the loader should take extreme caution to ensure that his fingers are out of the breech before the breech worker closes it. <laughs> so, as soon as his fingers are clear, he calls to the breech worker, the corner of the page is torn off. <laughs> it's a funny thing to say. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> the corner of the page with instructions is torn off. Oh dear, now we'll never know what he calls, will we? How about hands away? And if he doesn't get his hands away, how about out? <laughs> Warned you once, Walker. We want something brief, to the point. Well, how about fingers out? Yes, <laughs> Now, let me see. Breach worker, close the breach. That's you, Jones. Shut up, sir. I beg your pardon. <laughs> shut up, sir. The breach is shut. Doesn't say anything in the instructions about your saying that? No, but it sounds rather military, doesn't it, sir? <laughs> I think it sounds rather rude. How about once more into the breach? Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Now, the order of fire, the gun layer pulls his lanyard. Right, go on, go on. Very well, sir. Oh. Ah. 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 Just a minute, just a bit. What are you doing? Put in my lanyard, sir. Not the lanyard round your neck. <laughs> Strangle yourself. <laughs> the lanyard on the gun. Uh, do you mean I actually make the gun go off? That's what it says here. I oh, really don't think I'm suited to the post. He said, I, I start to pull the lanyard and fire the gun, sir. Let me pull it, sir. Let me pull it. You can't reach across and pull it, Jones. What about the kick? I would like to do that as well, sir. <laughs> I'm talking about the kick of the gun, the recoil. Well, I should still like to do it. Oh, be quiet, Jones. Pike, you pull the lanyard. I'm putting the shells in. I can't do both. Don't use that tone of voice to me, boy. <laughs> sir, I'm not exactly overemployed. <laughs> Perhaps I can oblige. Right, Wilson, you pull it. Very good, sir. Now, I think we've all grasped the basics of, of how the gun works. Pretty straightforward, so we'll have a practice. That's all very fine, sir, but what are we aiming at? Ah, quite right, Fraser. We need a target. Now, uh, now let's imagine that, um, that that milk float over there on the coast road is a tank. <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right. Good, well, aim at that. And uh, I'll stand over here and work out the range of the angle of fire. Hey, hey, hold on. It's called inclination, not angle of fire. Oh, is it? Thank you, Fraser. <clears throat> well, I should say the range is uh, 700 yards and the uh, inclination, 4 degrees. Godfrey? Uh, yes, sir. Have you got the inclination? Well, <laughs> I can hang on 
on for a few minutes longer. <laughs> Thank you very much for asking, sir. No, no, no. No, no. no. Godfrey, no, no, my dear fellow, no, no, no. Turn your little handle to that little... <laughs> that little dial there says four degrees. <laughs> oh, I see. Now, follow the target in your sights, Wilson. All right, sir. Move the gun barrel to the left. Keep moving to the left. More. Around the target. On target now, sir. Good. Fire when I give the command. Very good, sir. I wouldn't give the command just now if I was you, sir. Why not, Jones? Because the barrel's pointing right at your head. <laughs> Come in. Evening, Captain Manning. Evening, Sergeant Wilson. <coughs> Jones. Oh, yeah, Jersey. Excuse me, Mr. Manning, mm. but I'll be having the toot here in your office. Yes, I think so, Jones. Good, because I've got some sand for the toot, and Walker's got some tins. Joe, bring your toot tins in. Right, come in. Excuse me, sir. I hate to appear stupid about this, but uh, what on earth is a toot? Oh, really, Wilson? Can't say you're not knowing what a toot is. Well, I, I wasn't here last night when you fixed it up. Toot stands for technical exercise without troops. Oh, does it? I see. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, we're going to make a, a, a model of Warmington. Yeah. Now that we have a 13-pounder, our fighting potential is enormously increased. Oh, yes, enormously, yes, of course. <laughs> if we ever learn to fire it properly. <laughs> we must now conceive our whole form of tactics on a very much larger scale. So, when we built this model, we can see where best to sight our gun to give us maximum firepower. Yeah, Mr. Mannering, here's some tins for your, uh, toot. Why are they so dented? Oh, well, you see, Mr. Mannering, they get like that when they, uh, fall off the back of a lorry. <laughs> I see. Now, we need, uh, something to put the toot on. Bring that blackout screen over and put it on my desk, Walker. Right you are, Mr. Mannering. I've got a toy gun here to represent our naval gun. Oh, good. Now we've got something to shoot for the toot. <laughs> There's your black ball screen, Mr. Mannering. Thank you, Walker. Right, Jones, spread your sand over the screen. Very good, sir. Here we are, sir. I'll just smooth it out. Hello? What's this bit of suet doing here? <laughs> that boy Raymond's getting very careless. I can't use it now. It's covered in sand. <laughs> Never mind. It can go in the sausages. <laughs> Wilson, make a note, will you? No sausages this week. Even, <laughs> sir. Where is that? I brought as much stuff as I could, sir. Good. And I, I brought a few things that might help, sir. Well done, Godfrey. I've got the sand nice and smooth now, Mr. Manrin. Thank you, Jones. Now, first of all, we'll lay out the high street. Put out the spam tins, walk up, in a line down the middle. Right, sir. Evening, Mr. Manreen. Evening, Pike. I brought a lot of things for the twit. Toot, boy, toot. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> now, we need something to represent the church. Aye. How about this, sir? Hmm? Whiskey bottle. <laughs> it's hardly suitable, Fraser. It is empty, sir. Haven't you got something a little more reverent? Only oh, there's ten of fruit salts. Well, that'll do. Good. <laughs> there we are. Now, something for the bandstand. How about this little powder puff, sir? Thanks, sir. <laughs> and don't get it dirty, will you? It's, it's not mine. I'm very relieved to hear it. <laughs> <coughs> now, the allotments. Well, this, sir, uh, Lufadu. Excellent. The gas works. How about this tin of bicarbonate? Very <laughs> now, um, Pike, have we got the tin soldiers? Yes, Mr. Manning, here they are. Sure. Now, let's see. This knight in armour will be you, Jones. Oh, thank you, sir. This Highland soldier is you, Fraser. <laughs> thank you, sir. Ah, two beef eaters. Walker and Godfrey. And this horseman is you, Pike. It hasn't got a head. <laughs> That's all right, you can be the headless horseman. <laughs> But why should I be the one without Ned? They're my soldiers. You'll do as you're told, Pike. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. Now, let me see. We've got a cowboy and an Indian left. I shall be the cowboy. 
You, Wilson, will be the Indian. Yes. I rather thought I might be. <laughs> I pay attention. Now, looking at this model of Warmington in relation to our new gun, represented by this toy one, you will see that we command this whole stretch of the coast from the Novelty Rock Emporium in the east to Stone's Amusement Arcade in the west. However... As you'll observe, there are certain obstacles in our way. For instance, this, this, uh, the, this, this powder puff, I mean, this bandstand. <laughs> have to go. Mr. Speaker. sir. Yes, John. You can't remove the bandstand, Mr. Mannering. I'm the first cornet. That makes no difference to you. <laughs> there won't be any more concerts there until after the war, anyway. I know, sir, but I'd like to have something to play in when the war's over. Anyway, I wrote to the town clerk yesterday telling him that it's got to come down in 48 hours. Isn't that a bit high-handed, sir? No, not at all. Believe me, I, I know these local officials. <laughs> the only sort of language they understand. In fact, I'm fully expecting a visit from the town clerk any day now. But they'll never be able to get it down in 48 hours. I mean, it, it's made of solid iron. Is it? Mm. Well, I'll take it down for nothing, Mr. Mannery. <laughs> Just so long as I can keep the iron for scrap, you know. I think we'd better leave this in official hands, Walker. Now, the next thing that is in line of fire is the cricket pitch. Scoreboard will have to come down. Oh, no, no, sir, please, please, please. <laughs> Not the scoreboard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wilson. I know you're captain of the cricket team, but uh, can't make any exceptions. Well, it couldn't be possible to leave it until the cricket season's over. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Nazis don't play cricket, Wilson. <laughs> if they did, we'd never have gone to war with them in the first place. <laughs> anyway, in the event of the balloon going up, this will be our new plan of action. Now, have we got something to, uh, to represent Jones's van? Yeah, there's this toy car, sir. Ah, yes. Right, you jump into your van, Jones, and drive quickly down the high street. Very good, sir. Nom, 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 Fraser, you're outside your shop. Aye, sir. Jones, you pick up Fraser. Yes, sir. Then pick up Walker and proceed along Eastgate Road to the church hall. He can't do that, Mr. Mannering. Why not? It's a one-way street. Not in an emergency, Walker. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wilson and I run from the bank <clears throat> to the church hall. Come on, Wilson, move your Indian. What? Oh, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> what about me, sir? Uh, don't I get a lift of the van? Ah, uh, <clears throat> well... As we can never be sure where you'll be at any one time, Godfrey. <laughs> You'd better make your own way to the hall. You can be a sort of relief column. Well, thank you, sir. Now, let us assume that enemy invasion barges are trying to land troops. We are manning our gun and keeping up a constant withering fire, pounding the beaches. They're also dropping parachute troops, so Corporal Jones will take a detachment of men in his van to deal with them. Let's just try that. I'll fire the gun and you move the car, Joan. You ready? Yes, sir. Yes, all ready. Fire! All right, Jones. Off you go. Yes, sir. Nim 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 this is a model of Warmington. Well, you could have fooled me. It looks like a lucky dip gone wrong. <laughs> now, look here, Mannering. What's the idea of sending me an ultimatum? I'm not used to getting ultimata. <laughs> the point is that the bandstand has got to come down. Why? Because it is directly in the line of fire of our gun. But that band stands a rare example of Victorian artwork. It was erected to commemorate Queen Victoria's visit to this town in 1891. I remember it well. <laughs> I was given special leave to be in the Guard of Honour. And as the old Queen come down our ranks, she stopped in front of me and she said, You remind me of my dear Albert. <laughs> and I looked at her with tears in my eyes and I said, and you, Your Majesty, remind me of my dear old mum. <laughs> she walked away. Hence <laughs> the expression, we are not amused. <laughs> the 
Henri Rui. <laughs> now look, you can't say that bandstand's got to come down just like that, Mannering. Before a decision is taken, it's got to go before the town council. Well, put it before the town council, then. Well, I can't do that. It's got to be discussed in committee first. Oh, there's no time for all that red tape. This is urgent. The whole defense of this town rests on that gun. Well, I'm afraid I shall have to take some convincing of that. We'll give you a demonstration. Well, I don't know. Right now, if need be, my men are at an instant readiness. That's wise, sir. <laughs> I mean, we're not really up to it. I know what I'm doing, Wilson. Oh. <laughs> right, number one gun crew... Fall in outside in the yard. Number one, go crew. Come on out, try the double. Right, Come on, do as the officer says. Okay, Georgie. Right. Uh, if you'll just uh, follow me, Mr. Upton, I think we might be quite impressed. Right, Pike, you go, Sam, get this camouflage netting off. Right, Mr. Jones. We, uh, we keep the gun camouflage, Mr. Upton, so that our firing position cannot be observed from the air. Ah! Shoot! <laughs> I mean, this netting half dusty starts start up my hay fever. Never mind about that, Pike. Hurry up and get it off. <laughs> oh, dear. We shall be ready pretty soon, Mr. Upton. <laughs> Camouflage netting is now off, sir. <laughs> Detachment, fall in. Godfrey. Godfrey, what's the matter with you? I said fall in. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't hear. I took the precaution putting cotton wool in my ears. In case you let the gun go bang. Well, take it out. Fall in. Oh, yes, sir. Now, you know your positions. Godfrey sits on the left of the barrel. Jones is on the right by the breech. The two loaders, Pike and Walker, stand by with the shells. What's that? Now, the crowd action. I want to see you move like greased lightning. Take up your positions. Squad, action. Right, come on, lads. Come on out. No, no, Mr. Godfrey. This is your right arm. That's your left. You're on the wrong side. I'm next to the breach. No, I am by the breach. But Mr. Speaks and Mr. Godfrey's in my breeches. <laughs> You're on the other side, Godfrey. A uh, uh, pike. Don't pick up the shells yet. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Manning. Don't put it all over me when you sneeze. It's very unnerving. <laughs> sorry, Uncle Arthur. Oh. They're just a bit nervous, Mr. Upton. So am I. Ooh, don't worry. Once they've settled down, the whole thing will move like a smooth, well-oiled machine. The gun will pour forth its deadly fire. Deadly? Who to? I'll soon show you. <laughs> Stand by, men. Now remember, when I call action, I want you to go right through the drill, up to and including loading the shell. But we shall only mime the actual firing. I'm very relieved to hear it. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. Enemy tank, right, range 500 yards. Action! <laughs> Hey, old Pikey, I've got a shell for you. Shove it up the spout. Right, Joe. <laughs> oh, no, dropped it. Pick it up, boy, pick it up. Oh, here you are, Mr. Jones. Here. Here. Oi, mind where you're putting that shell, Pikey. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> shell loaded, sir. Good. Enemy tank right. Range, 500 yards. Ooh. Still 500 yards? It's not moving, then. <laughs> <laughs> Range 450 yards. Inclination 6 degrees. Godfrey 6 degrees. Wilson? Yes, sir? Has Godfrey got the inclination? <laughs> Godfrey, didn't you hear what Mr. Manning said? 6 degrees in your little wheel there. Uh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> there we are. Uh, uh, 6 degrees. Right. Are you holding the firing line, Lord? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Now, whatever you do, don't pull it. No, 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 sir. No, no. I'll, I'll just mime it. Enemy <laughs> tank, <laughs> 400 yards. Pow! Yes, you! <laughs> Blimey, it's gone off! Oh, 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 look at that! 
Wilson, I told you not to pull the lanyard. Oh, I tell you, Sergeant, it would like to start for me. It just sort of happened. <laughs> just look what you've done to our bandstand, Mary. <laughs> it's completely demolished. <laughs> Whatever are we going to do? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mr. Mannering. I'll clear it out for you and we'll split the profit, eh? Three ways. How, How dare, dare you? you. Wait, All right, Inspector. Terrible night. Yeah. Is she going off over yet? Oh, is all the buses in? Yeah, it's just got to check me last way, Bills. Look at them lights burning in that number 11 bus there. Ex Butler, all phone without switching them off. Can't wait to do anything, can he? Tonight. Yeah, well, I was, wasn't I? But, oh, it's gone 11. Where can you go this time at night? Well, thought we could go round your house. I told you, Mum will be watching the telly. We just have to sit and watch it with her. Why can't we go to your place? My house? Blimey, they switch the telly off and watch us. <laughs> well, what did you think we'd do? Well, uh, why can't we grow the recreation ground? What, in this weather? I'm freezing as it is. Oh, I've got my coat and I've got well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he'd do if his battery goes down. Butler! <laughs> what are you doing up against the side of that bus, eh? Hey? Oh. I thought you was damaging the company's property for a minute. Damn it, Garth. You only have hardly touched her. I'm talking about the bus. Oh. Now, come on, you signed off half an hour ago. Come on, the cleaners will be around. They'll be sweeping you up with the rest of the rubbish. Oh, I'll get that stuff out of it. <laughs> oh, God! Stupid! <laughs> More of them! What have you done? Is this a late, late, late shift shove loving, is it? Stupid thing to do, isn't it? Well, we have to do that, don't we? Get rid of undesirable creatures. Stop some breeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I resent that implication. It's made all my mascara run. <laughs> Susie, give us a hand. Oh, come on, Rhea, Now, what do you two think you're up to, eh? This is a bus step, though, not a blooming rabbit hutch, you know. <laughs> Telling the truth, Blakey, you see, we dated those two birds, and at this time of night, we've got nowhere to go. You can't stay here. Oh, go on, bear sport. Open up the waiting room for us. The waiting room is there for people who are legitimately waiting. Well, we've been waiting for the last half hour. <laughs> I'll give you exactly one minute to get out of here. Fair enough, getting the buses out on time without getting you, Bob, out as well. Oh, Burke. Oh, I suppose we just had to walk the birds home then. I suppose so, yeah. <sighs> Did it want tomorrow night, though? Why's that? Well, I've mistaken Mum and Olive on the motorbike, you know, for the weekend. They brought a morning down to Aunt Balch for the weekend. Oh, yeah. To think of it, blimey, I've got the house to myself then. Well, blimey, mate, why didn't you say so? We could take them round there tomorrow night. Yeah. Do you think they'll be willing? Well, Mum was willing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sue, Sue, Edna, come here a minute, love. Yeah, listen, listen. Come back tomorrow night. Right, right, come on, come on, get them two women out of here, come All on. Right. Will you do us a favour, mate? We'll take. Lend us this bus to take the girls home. Ah! <laughs> all right, mate. Everything all right for the night, then? Hey. Right. Keep your voice down. Blimey, it ain't gone yet. Well, there's nothing wrong, is there? No, no, but I mean, it's a bit cold. I must have wrapped up warm, you see, in the oh. car. Listen, I'm going to nip round the garage, make sure the girls haven't forgotten about the night. Now, you make sure you get rid of your family. Oh, right, of course I will. Oh, it's going to be quite a night, eh? Yeah, that's why I'm putting on the old marmalade, mate. <laughs> Keep the strength up, Samson. Hello, Hello, Jack. Oh, uh, a tea, dear? Uh, no, thanks, Miss B. I've uh, got some business to attend to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, nearly ready, Mum? No, love, I don't think we'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Well, Arthur's having trouble with his bike. Is he? Oh, I'll help him. I'll help him, yeah. See if I'll get it started. <laughs> oh, you are a good boy. After all, it can't be much fun for you being left here on your own. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll see you get it started, Mum. You get away, don't worry, darling. <laughs> <laughs> 
Started. I'm not straining myself anymore, that's it, we're not going. What do you mean you're not going? Dabby daft, it's a bit cold, that's all. You've never known how to start this thing up. Come out of it, dead easy. All right, all right. Lame, all right. Lame. Right. Lame. Lame. You've got you too much then. air. You've you got a rich juice, mate, I'll show you. Got font on there like that, right? <laughs> and a good kick. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> you're good. Kick. <laughs> Shut Get up, boy, then. Go on. I start this thing if it kills me. Yeah, I've got you started. Very good. Now you can all go away for the weekend, see? Well, the state you're in, mate, you look as if you'll be spending your weekend in bed. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bit of luck. I... <laughs> Let's go and take the old girl and all is ready. Oh. Right. Come on, see? Now, see, what's that? All right, no need a punch. Sure, Mum. I've got it going for you. Oh, love. Here, you haven't strained yourself, have you? <laughs> no, it's nothing. Oh, that's good. Because I don't think we ought to go. I. <laughs> Why not? Well, it's too cold for Olive to travel. No, it's nothing to it, love. <laughs> no, you'll enjoy the ride. No, I won't. Sitting on a pee and hurts me chill blains. <laughs> well, blimey, you don't get chill blains down there, do you? Of course not. It's the cold wind that does it. I'll shove some of the chill blain ointment on your face. <laughs> it's my fingers. I do not get chill blains on my face. You could have fooled me. <laughs> don't be so rude. If you're going to be like that all weekend, I don't want to go. You've got to go. Well, what I mean is you don't have to go. What I mean is that you haven't been away with art for quite some time, you know, and I thought going down there by sort of a second honeymoon, you know. That settles it. I'm not going. <laughs> now, don't tease her. You know you don't mean it. Don't be stupid, Arthur. Anyway, you know what it's like at Aunt Maud's. I'll have to share a little bed with Mum and Arthur will have to sleep downstairs on the camp bed. Yeah, well, Mum wouldn't mind sleeping downstairs for once and then uh, you could share a bed with Arthur. Oh, yes, of course. Why oh, don't you shut up? <laughs> Come on, I'll get a move on. Right. What it, Arthur? Here. I don't like the look of this rust here, mate. Look at what? Here. What that? Ah, oh, blimey, that's nothing. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, you've done up, haven't you? What on earth do you think you look like? Well, you know how cold it is. Blimey, you've got enough clubber on, haven't you? Yeah, I've got two of everything. That is painfully <laughs> obvious. <laughs> well, I've got a chill in my stomach, so I had to put a hot water bottle there. You don't mean to tell me you've got hot water bottles stuffed in there? I don't normally look as fat as this, do I? Since you ask, yes. <laughs> look! Make you ridiculous. You look like a mummy kangaroo when it's young. <laughs> Yeah, well, if she ever has any young, they most probably look like that. <laughs> oh, don't be joking. <laughs> you put it back in again there, darling. Go on. <laughs> oh, I can tell you something. I cannot drive this motorbike with that thing pressing in my back. Oh, don't be joking. Get on a try. Oh, oh, right. Come on. Get on, son. Oh, it's no good. It's no good. It's all flopping about, all wobbly. <laughs> She hasn't put it in yet. <laughs> you knew that, didn't you? Ah. <laughs> put it in. Put it in. That's all right. Oh, that's, uh, that's quite firm. <laughs> you should wear one of those permanently. Oh, I'm good not to go on this weekend. Well, I'm not, not too keen to go myself. Are you? Then we going, and aren't we going? Yes, you're going. What's all that rubbish? <laughs> what is that? I cooked you a chicken and a bought you a plant. Well, then it's give it to me. You get it, darling. Yeah, got it. And I'll That's put it on not. your lap. All right. That's oh, it. Oh, it's a bit funny getting here, isn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, I've got to get me out. Oh, blimey. Wait a minute. That's it. Now you've got the plant, sweetheart. Yes, I've got the plant. Shut the door, Shut right. the door. Right, the Lock me in. That's it. Right. Oh, stay. What? Is it going to be all right? Well, you're not going to be able to shut the lid, are you? <laughs> well, look, Mum, lean it a bit this way. Not there. Right. Yeah. Right, shut the door. Lift, lift it up. <laughs> lift. It's not, it's not all really. Well, what do you want to tell me that much for? Well, I was afraid the roof would spoil me blue. Well, 
you can shut that away now, can't you? Oh, he give us it, Mia, give us it, here. We still got the chicken. <laughs> yeah, there you are, Mum. Is the uh, chicken? Yeah. Oh, uh, Aunt Maud loves my chickens. She says they always taste different. Yeah. <laughs> well, that one certainly will. Yeah. Right, are we ready to go yeah, now? Come on, right. then. Come on. Then. <laughs> Oh, there's a fall. Now that one's Gabby, go off. You get on. Go off you go. Have a nice oh, weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get along. Bye. Bye. Yeah, get along. Bye-bye. Hello. Hello, Stan. It's Jack here. Oh, hello, Jack, yeah. Here, listen, I've had a word with the birds, oh, and it's, yeah, yeah. it's all all right for the night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jack, Jack. Yeah. Is uh, Susie there? Yeah, hang on. I'll pass you over. Yeah. Here, I'll have a word. Hello, Stan. Hello. I'm looking forward to tonight. <laughs> Don't tie yourself out too much driving that bus, will you? <laughs> Don't worry yourself about that, my old darling. <laughs> Here's a kiss to be going on with. <laughs> oh, turn it in, will you? <laughs> oh, see, tell our love, I'll see you tonight. Bye, love. Yeah. I hope you're in the mood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not in the mood now. <laughs> Just how you feel. Don't worry about that, love. We've had enough shocks for one day. <laughs> Look, love, you'll have to take this other vest off. It's damp. I can't have that round your stomach. It's not going to do you no good, love. There you are. Put that on the table with Aye. the others. <laughs> We're sopping wet. Well, bring it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mum, the water was scalding. It's burned me. Arthur, look. I'd rather not, thank you. <laughs> Never mind, love. It'll all go away. Oh, blimey, all this fuss over nothing. It is not. If it doesn't go away, I might never be able to wear a bikini again. Oh. Well, for that, we must all be truly thankful. <laughs> <laughs> My legs all red and blotchy. Well, you're very lucky it hasn't affected them in any way, aren't you? Oh, shut up! <laughs> That's not very nice, Arthur. Must have been very painful for her. You know what a sensitive stomach she's got? It's round my waist I got burnt most. Ah, oh, never mind, love. I'll rub a bit of margarine on it. <laughs> oh, blimey, don't do that. A knickers will keep slipping off. <laughs> I'll better go upstairs and change it. <laughs> you won't be going now. Don't be tough, love. Hey, hold it. Of course you've been going. You, you be, listen, I can get that bike fixed in half an hour. What a lot of rotty dust talk. That bike is ruined. Look, mate, I've been a bus driver for years. I know what I'm talking about. I'm fixing it in half an hour. Don't worry, me old darling, you'll be going. Look, come and look for yourself. Let's see what can be done, at least. Come on. Well, go on. What a waste of time. No, right now, then. Now, let's see. Yeah, well, you see, mate. That's what you told me was absolutely foolproof. Well, well, blimey, it's not all that bad, really, is it? It's so certain the forks here. Lift it up a bit, I'll straighten them out, my hand. Oh, blimey. How oh, very clever. Shall we make a wish? <laughs> very funny. Ah, dummy daft here. I can get that welded up. What, on a Saturday morning? Well, the maintenance department at the depot is open all the weekend. But you are on a late shift, mate. Take it in Monday. Don't be daft. If I take it in Monday, you won't be able to go away for the weekend, will you? Well, that's all I meant. No, no, I'll take it in, Arthur, and I'll get it welded up, and I'll have it come back and have it fixed up by 12 o'clock. I don't understand what's come up for you, Stanley. <laughs> Giving up your Saturday morning to mend my bike, anyone who think you're on an incentive bonus? Not off. The best incentive of the lot. <laughs> <laughs> 
get a new pair of front forks, mate. Where am I going to get them from now? Oh, snuff. No, I can't tell you, Jack. The only way, get old Joe to weld this up for us, right? Get it on, get it done by 12 o'clock, get them away. Otherwise, your family will be stuck with this all night. Trust you to muck everything up, eh? Oh, hello, darlings. Uh, you off duty then? No, we got one more shift yet. Oh. Is it all right for tonight? Yeah, of course. We've got to go home first, get out of these things and change into something a bit more comfy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Edna. Bye. Ta-da. Ta-da. <laughs> See you tonight. Yeah, OK, then, love. <laughs> Come on, blimey, let's get this welded up. Come on. <laughs> Look, I told you. I can only do it for you later on. Look, Joe, we've got to have it now. Look, mate, I'm busy. I've got to get that bus out before 30. If you want it now, do it yourself. There's the torch. <laughs> well, that's right, isn't it? What do we know about welding? Listen, mate, how do we know how to... Put, put them gloves on. Well, I know all about welding. I watched the bloke doing it once. Oh, charming. <laughs> there we are. Can we tuck them on your mitts, don't yeah. I hold you? All right, then. Kiss them See the double, mate. Right. Right, there we are. Put them on. Well, we can only have a go, mate, can't we? Of course we can. Right. All right, now, shove that in the vice. Shove what in the vice? I can't see it. That there. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, I've got it, right. All right. Now, get them tongs. Tongs, one minute, get the tongs. Yeah. And hold the other bit there. Wait right. a minute, wait a minute. Let's get hold of it with the tongs. Wait, put the go for in it, all right. That's it now, hold it steady. Hold it there, then, all right. All right. Let's have a look then. Beautiful. What have you done, you idiot? You've blown me, look at it! You've welded them on crooked! Well, you was holding it, wasn't you? Well, oh, she's glasses. I can't see what I'm doing in the dark. Well, a fat lot of you, she'll be tonight. <laughs> well, it's, it's not going to be any use to anybody like that, is it? Well, perhaps we can flog it into a water diviner. <laughs> Shove it back in a vice, I'll knock it at the Wait a minute, put my glasses on. Right. right. Hold it still. That's beautiful, no, is that straight? Good, that. There's only one thing wrong. What's that? You've welded the tongs on. <laughs> what the hell were you was holding them, wasn't you? Who the hell the tongs on? Who's the welder? Who's the welder? You're the welder. Don't blame me, mate. Who's that? It's your fault, isn't it? I do, isn't it? Look at the smell of burning. Your gloves on fire. Beautiful, and it's a look perfect. Let's look at that. Lovely. Oh, blimey, it's a great job, that is, Jack. Marvellous, that. Straight as a dive, boy. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Quarter and a half hot. Blimey. I could even feel that through those asbestos gloves. I tell you what, mate, Joe couldn't have done a better job than that. Oh, look, I'm proud of you, son. Oh, well, what more do you want me to say? Uh, oh, uh, uh, nothing. Uh, oh, doing a bit yeah. of private work, are we? Uh, no, Blake, it's nothing, really. Nothing? They don't have them on buses, do they? You've been doing a bit of welding on there, mate. Look, I can see it's still. Get hurt. Well, get me in that fire bucket. <laughs> I'll get you for this butler. You know, you, you know, for what you're not supposed to use a company's facilities, it's stealing, isn't it? Say, what are you talking about, stealing? What are we taking? Yeah, come on, come on, what are we taking? Heat. Eat? Well, blimey, you just had half of it back again, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know about you. I'm going to make a poor report out of this. <laughs> just soon to get me in, but uh, I could get you the sack for this. You know that, don't you? you? You're not supposed to use the company's facility for your own purposes. Oh, Inspector. Didn't know you was here. Come for your bike, have you? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. You may as well take oh. it. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. We've done all you asked. And while we was about it, we repainted the frame yeah. and, and put a lot of new bits on. <laughs> All on the firm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All them new bits and all repainted like. <laughs> very handy to be able to use the yeah, company's facilities. Yeah, right. yeah, well, this is different, isn't it? I have to use this bicycle to get here early in the morning to get the buses out on we time tonight. No, we have and, uh, We fixed your hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you use it on your moustache. <laughs> it's me mother's. Well, she got moustache at all. 
Oh, come with you, isn't it? Yeah. Let's try. Well, right. it's not too bad now, no, this is it. Let's get this back on the bike. The quicker we get this back on the bike, the quicker old Arthur can get the family away for the weekend. No, no, we'll have that lovely empty house with them gorgeous birds, eh? <laughs> Blakey, while you're drying your mother's ear, think of us, will you? <laughs> oh, I hate you, butler. I hate you. <laughs> Get on there. See you Monday, right, eh? Stay longer if you like. Right. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, tell her. Hello, then. God, blimey, Jack, I'm worn out. Here, do you know it's taken us two and a half hours to get that bike together again? Things we do for a bit of crumpet. Might <laughs> be easier for Mario. <laughs> <laughs> again. Uh, mind you all down there, get me some aspirin. I think I've got concussion. Yes, and right before you do that, you better go into the kitchen and make us some food. We haven't had a bite to eat. I've been walking miles and my feet are killing me. <laughs> well, let me shut the front door, will you? It's all off, Jack. Oh, oh, I don't know. I can't help it, mate. The bike felt a bit... They're in a terrible state in there. I'll have to uh, look after them all night long, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, blood, this reminds me of the 16 bus. Why? The circular route, you know. You keep going round and round and round, you never seem to get anywhere. Oh, wow. Well, 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 well,